Welcome to the Go Markets MT4 Genesis tutorial. MT4 Genesis provides a suite of tools to help you optimize your trading experience in MT4. In this video, we're going to show you how to use both the connect and analyze options. Now, when you run the MT4 Genesis executable file, both the connect and analyze will automatically be available as you can see down the bottom here. Now, within the connect window, there's a couple of key items that are really helpful to keep up to date with the latest news and get access to the Go Markets website as well. So up the top here, we've got the price action news. And this gives you a number of key technical updates related to the price action across the currency pairs. Next, down the bottom left, we have both the news and the calendar. Now, the news items are feeds that you can actually bring into your MT4, allowing you to keep up to date with the latest news and information across all your currency pairs and general news items. Now with this, you also have the ability to add a feed as you can see here, and there's a couple of different news providers which you're able to select from. Next, we have the calendar option just here, which enables us to have a look what the upcoming announcements are. Today's Thursday, the 7th of January. And as you can see, the items are split up into high impact, medium impact and low impact events. If I wanted to select just all high impact events, then I just simply click on the drop down and click high impact. And then it will just show all those high impact events that are coming up. On the right hand side, we have options to connect to the gomarkets.com.au website and we can deposit funds, we can open a new live account, you can change the leverage on your account, you can check out the current promotions and you can also chat live to one of the team members. And down below, we also have the session map, which shows us where the key FX fixes are, including Sydney, Tokyo, London, and New York. And as you can see, we're just starting the London session now. Once again, down the bottom, there's a couple of color coded dots here representing the news items that are coming up, including low impact, medium impact, and high impact news events. Now, if we pop over to the analyze button, we get a lot more information about our actual account. So if I click on the overview, it tells us a little bit more about our account, including our floating P&L, our close profit, the margin, margin and use, and the margin level. We can also see our cumulative profit. However, if I hit the drop down menu, you'll see that there's a whole range of statistics that we can actually plot as it relates to our trading account. So we can go through and plot our balance, daily profit, our equity, percentage return, profitability, the pips daily, weekly and monthly, the direction of the net profit and so much more. So definitely spend some time checking out the stats here to see how you can take advantage of that information. On the right hand side, we have the sentiment indicator as well. So if you wanted to select just those currency pairs that you're really keenly watching, then you can choose those here to see what the percentage of long versus short is across the markets. If I click on the settings, you can see I can add a couple of other currency pairs in order to see what the sentiment is on those. Now, if I scroll down the bottom a little bit further, you can see we've got some other key stats on the account, including total return, monthly return, weekly return, trade length in minutes and so on, profit factor, trades per day, and the history of the account. And then on the right hand side here, we can plot some key statistics across the currency pairs. So once again, there's a number of things that we can plot. So have a play around with this section to see how it can benefit you and your trading to see how you can keep on top of the stats of your trading account. On the next tab, we have the analysis section, which enables us to analyze all the trades that we've actually completed. And it's got a number of key statistics across the individual trades, which is really handy when you're trying to keep on top of your trading stats for your account. So as you can see, as I scroll across, there's a number of statistics that we can get access to here, all the way across winning pips, losing pips, net pips, average pips one, average win hours, so the time frames of the trade and so much more. And you can also check out a couple of different things as far as the, the direction of the trade, the day of the week, and the day and so on. Now the next tab that we have available to us is the orders tab, which shows us all of our completed orders. And it gives us a running tally on those as well with a number of key statistics. Now what you'll notice with this is that the orders tab is very similar to the account history tab in the terminal window down below here. 
So as you can see with the connect and analyze options, you have a lot of key information available at your fingertips. So be sure to jump in and review the key statistics of your trading account. We hope you found the information on the connect and analyze options useful. And of course, we look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thank you.